So now we're going to be talking about MIPS calling conventions for procedures. So the two functions you're going to be using to make this work is jump and link, which will put the address of the next instruction into a register, and jump register, which will uh, change the next instruction to be whatever address is put into that register. Um, so when we're doing this, um, we also are using what's called stack frames, which is how we um, store local data and uh, return values and um, return address for a function once we enter it. Um, so once we enter a function, um, how should we be using our stack pointer? So when we actually get into the function itself, we're going to want to subtract um, from the stack pointer so that we can store our um, return value and local variables and everything into the stack frame. And then when we return, before we call our jump register, we um, we um, add to the stack pointer and then load back up the uh, variables that we stored at the beginning. So when we're actually making the call to our jump and link, what registers do we really need to be saving? Now, this is all more of a um, convention than anything, but all of your registers that start with $S for saved are going to be saved between your calls to a function. So when you call jump and link, the first thing that that function is going to do is store the $S variables into the um, stack frame so that it can restore it before it returns control uh, back to you. Naturally, your $t, or temporary variables, are going to be lost. Um, there's no guarantee that those are going to stay for any a period of time. Um, your $v um, and $a are, um, are going to be modified. The v, obviously, because um, when you return, you need to assign whatever the return value is to them. And then a is how we pass in variables, but there is no, we, we make no guarantees that it's going to stay after we return. And then we look at jump register. So in this case, which registers do we need to be saving? And really, we don't actually have to save any. Because we're never really coming back here, so it doesn't actually really matter what registers values we have. The only thing that really matters is that we restore the $S variables that we um, had when we entered into this function. Because the caller does not want to expect that the $S variables are going to be the same and then have them miraculously change. This is why we have these conventions. Um, so now we have how do we pass arguments into these functions. Um, we have four variables or four registers set aside that we use to uh, pass arguments into the function. We have our dollar a um, zero through three um, registers set aside for that purpose. A zero is the first, A one is the second, and so on. Um, and if we need to store, if we need to send in more than four more than four arguments, we'll often just write the values that we need passed in onto the stack before we call jump and link. And then, oh, okay, actually, yes, this is, this is the next one. So if we do have the four arguments, we will um, put them on the stack. It is called spilling, registers onto the stack.
And then when we actually want to return from our function, we use our other set of special registers, our v, v registers. We have our v0 and v1. Um, we will almost always use v0 um, because in C we actually only have one thing that we can return, but there is actually two that is set aside uh, for return values from functions.